Oh, hi everyone. This is me, Racing Wolf. And this is my path 4.1 where I'm filming and showing you what's happening in my racing life. <laughs> you must be asking what, what's going on, what he doing here. Yeah, this is my racing simulator and happened very well happened something not nice but nothing what couldn't be repaired and fixed right so i've been playing formula one i've been practicing playing yeah, I've been practicing and suddenly gearbox stopped shifting gears up only down and to shift it up I have to press that paddle really really heavily and I don't like to do it because if you have to press something really heavily that means something wrong I mean if before if before that part was okay and now you have to press it really hard that means something happened to that part right so um yeah and my steering wheel now is not working properly how it works but I don't understand okay I need to undo a few more bits right so yes this is what I was worry about so here is a uh, steering wheel and this is where is the broken part was now we're gonna, we're gonna turn steering wheel this way this way right up here and as you can see here I have a paddle shift which is well, you can't see anything, but what's happening? I'm pressing it, like, I'm pressing it, yeah? And I need more light. Here you go, I've got lights now. So when I press it, you see that bit, this one up here, this, you see this, uh, like a cross part? So that one goes up and it's touching this, this one, this spring and shift gear up this. Completely broken. Right, so uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly check it on eBay if if um, if I can get that part. Frost Master. Okay, 
can't find it uh, at the moment but I'll look for it or I'll have to make something maybe with this one but you know what I'm I'm looking at it and it has a crack already up here if I can get some of them like four pieces just in case if the other one will be broken as well they should be metal I mean for these type of part which used really often and heavily this should be metal <sighs> maybe I'll ask someone to make me metal right uh, this is the next day I'm in my car and I'm going to pick up uh, another steering wheel um, sorry I don't have my mi microphone with me so sound might be not the best uh, but you know it's a vlog so um, I have to use what I have and I have only my camera okay so um, yesterday I stripped steering wheel and uh, I checked it on the internet uh, for that part uh, I checked it on the internet and uh, I couldn't find anything and luckily I found one place where I can get it but delivery will take me I think I'll get that part in a March something like this and it's cost me something like 25 pounds with the delivery for some reason that company is only in Canada and I decided that, that I need steering wheel now I mean because I need to do my filming I need to do my practicing and uh, again I went to Facebook marketplace and I found good deal so I'm driving there as soon as I'll check it as soon as I'll if everything fine I'll buy it I'm not gonna be able to film uh, how I'm buying it but uh, as soon as I'll buy it if I'll buy it I'll I'll show it to you guys Right guys, so I've got uh, what I want, uh, I have my new uh, new steering wheel uh, with me and this time I've got this one, this is Logitech G920, uh, yeah, so now um, the reason why I decided not to get the same TMX because I I read about this uh, steering wheel uh, on the internet and these shift puddles, shift, uh, shifting puddles, uh, they're more simpler because they work as a the pressing button up here where Thrustmasters, all the system was inside this steering wheel box, you see this one, where this one you press it and it touches button up there where with the Frostmaster is everything happening inside this steering wheel mm, uh, like a box uh, system so that's why that one breaking very easily this one uh, I don't think that is going to break at all because it's just a button button which use this paddle to press it and this is it um, the other thing uh, this one cost me uh, 100 pounds uh, another hundred pounds yes but but steering wheel uh, with all um, Xbox buttons uh, looks perfect leather leather steering wheel as you can see and uh, it has the same uh, motion how they, how they call that 
motion feedback something like this where you can feel the road better better with this one I think this one even higher specs right this is right here he is this is a pedals clutch brake throttle um, I like these pedals they're very stiff they're very hard and I think it's gonna be really good feeling on the pedals so I like this one more than the previous one also now I've got this thing <laughs> so I can play rally or something like this I don't know uh, really interesting never never played with this one and also there is one more thing which I've got including into that price this is here you go this is called drive hub so what does it make you see up here I can connect controller steering wheel and any other accessory so from here I connect it to console with this uh, micro USB yeah that's micro USB uh, connector it goes into Xbox there is a cable here is there is this cable up here which goes to you um, Xbox and with with this one I can connect my steering wheel uh, to any let's say this way with this drive hub I can connect any steering wheel doesn't matter is that for uh, PS or only for PC I can connect through this one to my Xbox the same my steering wheel through this one can go to any PlayStation this is amazing okay guys now I'm making my way home and uh, I'll test it Right, so um, it took a bit to uh, update my Xbox, but that's fine, I've done it. And as you can see, Formula One is already on. So let's try this oh, steering wheel. Okay, uh, I forgot which button is which, session info, uh, go to truck, flying lap. I am in Australia, by the way. It's gonna be a bit difficult to get used to this brake pedal.
you know what it feels really really good yeah I can feel difference between that one and 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 this one but I think I can get used to this one very quickly Oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy, as usually my rubbish driving. And I like this uh, puddle shifting. With this button, it feels much better and safer okay I'm, I'm completely not concentrated on the truck I'm concentrated on the steering wheel and pedals different pedals honestly very different pedals comparing to Rust master this one is more informative I'll be honest with you steering wheel get used to the button position buttons position yeah I need to get used to the brake pedal oops 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 oh, sorry I wasn't looking on the track at all I was looking steering wheel Yeah, it will take me time to get used to it, but my opinion right now, when I'm testing it, the first opinion is really good equipment, really good steering wheel. Oh, neutral. <laughs> okay, let's try to make one clean lap. It shouldn't be third gear up there, it should be fourth gear up there. went on 8th gear should be 3rd gear up there not 2nd third. 3rd gear there but turn in should be earlier and come back on a power earlier as well I need to change the DRS button. Oh, 
Oh, nearly clean lap, nearly messed up last corner. Right guys, so what can I say? Um, amazing, works amazing, works perfectly. Uh, just need to get used to the pedals, uh, shifting, brilliant, love it. Need to change the DRS button. Um, where should I put it better? On my left hand side better. One of these buttons, well, I'm holding steering wheel like this, so going to be easy to press this button yeah uh, I'll set it up and uh, I'll carry on my uh, racing videos uh, gaming racing videos so this is was my path 4.1 and uh, sometimes things like this happens but we can always sort it out we can always fix it Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that bell to be notified every time when I'm posting my new videos. Guys, thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.